guys, what's going on? Fishman200 here, and this is the third, fourth? It's been a couple. It's one of the, the next episode of the game Def Guy. So, we played... We have one game left to play, and we just got the code for the last game. The code for the, the computer for the last game, which is this game right here. Right, using the entry code from BroHoof19's computer, we should have access now. Idiobaka's computer is said to have some good cyberpunk resources, so it would be worth jump driving. Let's pray this man's cyberpunk resources are in good taste. Yes. Let us hope. Let us. Right, let's just grab the data and get out of here. Meh. Files. Meh. Hmm. Seems something is locking the file from opening. Whoa! Hello, who are you? I should ask the same question. You're not my system administrator, so why are you searching my database? Wait, you're this computer's firewall? It's an interesting firewall. No, I'm at Yobaka's custom firewall. Now, what are you doing here? Um, I'm his assistant. Pfft, yeah, right. No, Idiobaka's assistant is the little clopper pro hoof. 19 downstairs. That must mean you're just a dirty little hacker trying to get at my clean database. Oh, I doubt your database is clean, pretty lady. Whoa, wait a second. What do you have against hackers? B besides the obvious. <laughs> like you have to ask. You guys are all the same. You only come here for one thing. My pure, uninfected database. First you guys work your way in, then you just perform an unprotected data transfer, and before I know it, my database will be crawling with viruses. Hmm. Why do I get the feeling we're not really talking about computers anymore? <sighs> I'm not going to do that. I'm using a formatted jump drive for data transfers. There's no way I could upload a virus with that. Oh, that's just what you think. <laughs> I have trouble believing that. When was the last time you formatted it? Well, I used it to download a few games from the neighboring computers. Ah! Oh, and you want me to give that a clear entry? I don't think so. My system is all about over-regulated system data that is local only. Seriously? Where's your sense of exploration? Don't you ever wonder what goes on outside of your firewall bubble? Of course not. I would upset my admin. My data isn't for sharing. But you're missing out on experiences that make AIs like you have so much character. Am I honestly saying this? God damn it. <laughs> Don't you want to explore the devices for potential threats instead of being cooped up in your safe house all day? You know, I never thought about that till now. As a firewall, you gotta dare to challenge yourself once in a while. Dare to explore! This is such a weird conversation. I, I think you're right. What's my purpose if I don't explore the devices in my system for potential threats? That a girl. I can't believe that worked. I'll tell you what, hacker. I'll offer you into my database if you can pass a little series of firewall questions. What do you say? Oh, she winked at me too. That sounds fine by me. Fire away. <laughs> Didum ch. Get it? Cause she's a firewall. Fire away. All right, let's begin. First question, hacker. If I can trust you, then what is my name? Hmm. Miku. You never told me. Or Temptress Double D. I guess that wasn't the right thing. What did you just call me? No, that's not my name, you dirty hacker creep. Get the hell off this console. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. Back again so soon, eh? All right, let us begin again. Hmm, let's go with, you never told me. Ah, yeah, that's right, I never did. That was a test to see if you had already hacked to learn my identity into the next question. Oh learn my identity, period. On to the next question. Second question. What color are my eyes? God damn it. I didn't notice. Green. What? Girls don't have green eyes. Have you ever watched Big Trouble in Little China? Uh, no. No, I haven't. Sorry. Oh, Alright, let's do it again. Uh, it's not that one. Uh, 
never did. This is just your hair. Alright, second question. What color are my eyes? They are red. Aw, you remember. That's so sweet of you. I guess you do look beyond my firewall. <laughs> uh, third question. Do you find me pretty? Oh, God. This is, uh... This is the stumper. I think it's a trick question. If you say, of course, she's going to complain about not noticing anything else. If you say it doesn't matter, she's going to say, oh, you think I'm not pretty? If you say, eh, you're all right, she's just going to blow up in your face. So I'm going to say it doesn't matter. Oh, Man, I must be a player or something. I know exactly what to say. Oh, that's so sweet of you. You're right. What matters is the purpose as a firewall and the content of my character. Question number four. As a firewall, what data do I block? Non-local. Wonderful. It seems you've been paying attention this whole time. Oh yeah, that's right. I pay attention. Who is my administrator? Idiobaka. Ah, you remembered. Very well done. Oh man, I'm getting good at this. Who is the assistant admin? Oh, that's definitely Brohoof19. The marshmallow pony lover downstairs. You haven't forgotten a thing. Ah, oh, now how could I forget anything? Final question. What room number are you in? Oh, uh, hold on a second. I was room six. There were two rooms on my floor, five and four. <coughs> and then downstairs is where Brohoof was, and that was rooms one, two, and three. So I'm in room four. Oh, yeah. Photographic memory or something. Ah, nah, I'm just really smart. We have a winner. You passed the test. I'm so happy I met you, Hacker. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have the nerve to try something so... different. Eh, that's what I'm here for, I guess. What does she mean by different? Hacker? Yes? I want you... I want you in my database. I want you to take my data. All of it. Mm, no thanks. I'm good. I mean, eh, is this seriously happening right now? Don't speak. Just jump drive me, you unauthorized little devil. Oh, damn. You see, see your shirt there? Um, uh, um. Okay. Oh, well, that stinks. Oh, sorry, I, I was reading them all before. Well, this has proved to be one of the strangest moments in this bit of source hacking. The whole thing just fried. Eh, let's just be happy with the data we've been... We... The, happy the data has been obtained. Sorry, I can't read. And move on with life, shall we? Oh, but... But the... The... The woman. But I was just getting into her database. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go back to my computer. Let's get this in the game. Hmm. <laughs> Here we go. All right, now that all the tenants' computers have been source hacked, it's time to upload a game. Fortunately, Warren is Warren's is stuck having to use an old uploading program called Cyber Pony. <laughs> It's not the fastest uploading program, but it's all he's got. This is the final dev guy's step. It's time to upload this game on Move in Life. Upload this game on Move in Life. Good luck. Alright. This is gonna be it. Cyber Pony! Press spacebar. Move with arrow keys and keep away from the fail wall. Press F to skip this mini game. Oh, whoa, what would you like that? This is interesting. Oh, shit. Ah. Stay away from the firewall. Fail wall. 
Did I do it? Did I do it? 25% complete? What? We gotta keep going? It's ridiculous. Too far forward. Can't see what I'm doing. Don't go over. Under. Over. Under. 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 Over. Under. Let's go. Run in a straight line, pony. This is. This is 25. Oh! Damn it! Fuck! Uh, 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 no! 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 Get away from the fail wall. Going down this time. Alright, there's another 25% complete. That was close. That was really close. 50% complete! Let's go! It's almost uploaded. This is, just in case you guys were wondering, this is uh, exactly what I have to do every time I upload a uh, YouTube video. So, uh, um, not to brag, but I'm pretty good at this. This is, uh, this is like second nature to me. Now I just run, oh fuck, damn, run my pretty little pony all the way across the screen without hitting the fail wall. And then my videos upload and you guys can watch it. So uh, seventy-five percent complete, we're almost there. We just need to be this last one. Can I do it without failing? Oh damn. Forgot about the spinny ones. Oh god. Go up, 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 up. Down, 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 down. No! Oh, we almost hit the fail wall. Go, 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 go. Run, little pony, run. Run faster. Don't hit the walls. Alright. Oh, the last spin. I think we almost did it. Now I'm on top. Let's go. Last one. Yeah. Over. Under. Over. Under. Over. Under. Over. Why do I feel like this last 25% took longer than the rest? That's it. I think we did it. Yes! Charge ahead, pony! We did it! 100% complete. Our developer game thing has been uploaded. Congratulations! Thanks to you, Worm is able to submit his ROM hack onto the App Store on time. If only a few weeks, Warren's game became successful enough for him to work on another project. That's good. His second project was a horribly depressing dystopic sci-fi game titled Big Brother. His second project was a smash hit and won the depressing sci-fi award of the year because that's something that exists. Cabe, Warren's friend, decided to go into game development himself after seeing Warren's luck. He wound up not making anything, but it was, but was picked up by game industry anyway. Good for him. He's now working on the new Grand Tor Toronio racing game coming out this year. I really can't read. Wow, this is bad. How am I in college? <laughs> As for Retro Frog, he later moved on to make more social commentary games involving quick time events. This quick time event game caused a national movement abolishing quick time events from being featured in games. Oh no! Brohoof decided to put his fanfics to rest after learning that such magic ponies don't exist. Wait, what? Magic ponies don't exist? Since when? Now he writes fanfics of a new series called Mental Time, featuring noodly looking characters he hopes to marry one day. Hmm, that's weird. David Bage saw a decline in profits for his game when it was labeled not pretentious enough. That's too bad. Now he's taking a pilgrimage to Los Angeles to sharpen his pretentious charm again. Good for him. Sam Shark gave up the industry when he saw people were not idolizing him after realizing his masterpiece. If it's any consolation, he did win the Butthurt Award of that year. Nice. Idiobaka, my former administrator, had to postpone his game projects after I released his data on the net. Oh, whoops. He's now adding another two years to his project due to his recent data leak and prays his fans won't be mad. Oh, and as for little old me, I've become my own program after letting my admin down. I now travel through the internet, exploring my options and possibilities. Now if you don't mind, I have a date with a rich Turkish prince I found on the net. Enjoy the credits, and congratulations again for your success. Catch you later. Okie dokie. <gasps> the pony. That's me, guys. I'm that dashing young pony. Zooming through the credits. Pew! Oh, am I supposed to be playing? Oh, sweet, I can. Look at us! Mm -hmm. Press left and right to move side to side. 
You got it. Boop. Why did everything slow down? Oh, I pressed up, that's why. Press up to toggle slow motion. Ouch! Damn it. That's like really slow motion. Can we speed it up at all? No? Alright, well, that looks like the end. Um, just gonna do a little running around here. So, thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little something different we did on the channel. I think I said it twice already, but I'll say it a third time. Thanks for stopping by. This is Fishman200, swimming away.